Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome to this new amazing video tutorial. So today, in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you that how we can create this beautiful looking WordPress e-commerce website with the most popular plugin called WooCommerce. Okay, you can see that this is the e-commerce website that we're going to make today. It looks really nice, okay? You can see that. I will show you step by step how you can create this, okay? So this is the home page and let's see our shop page you can see that this is our shop page we have a lot of products inside our shop page okay and let's see our testimonial page you can see that this is our testimonial page okay you can add uh, so many pages if you want and we also have a uh, about us page click on about us page you can see that this is our about us page you can add about yourself I mean about your shop in this page we also have a beautiful looking contact page so simply click on contact and let's see the contact page so this is how it looks like you can see that this is our uh, contact page okay we have a Google map here we have uh, our office address etc etc you can edit all of this I'll show you that how we can actually edit this we have a beautiful looking contact form the user can also send you a message through this contact form okay so let's go back to our shop page and let's see our single product page cart page and also checkout page so simply click on uh, shop and from here select any of this product so, okay simply click on select all right and after that from here click on add to cart you can see that we also have a add to wishlist button here i will show you that how we can add this wishlist button and we also have a wishlist page with this button okay people can uh, add a product to wishlist okay so i'm just simply clicking on add to cart so simply click on add to cart okay and you can see that it says view cart and you can see that this is how it looks right now okay so I'm just simply uh, deleting this to item from uh, our code and let's go and add another product to our code because I want to show you a special feature of this e-commerce uh, website so simply click on remove okay this is the remove icon I'm just simply removing both of this and then remove this skin toning milk okay and then go back to our shop page and from here scroll down and let's open this product skin toning milk and from here if I click on add to cart this is going to recommend us uh, related products with this uh, skin toning milk okay so you can see our product here this is uh, all the related products that you can show your customers and by using these features you can increase your sales up to 400 percent okay you can add so many products here okay I will show you that how you can actually uh, add that plugin the plugin name is Leo product recommendation so let's go and visit their website you can I'll see that their website Leo product go to Google and uh, search for Leo product recommendation recall seal it's a real special plugin okay simply you can see that uh, this is the wordpress.org link and from here you can go and visit their website here okay this plugin is re really really useful for increasing your sale okay so simply open this link in a new tab and wait for a few seconds you can see that this is the website okay and from here you can click on plugin and you will be able to see all the features of this special plugin okay uh, you will be able to read all this from here they also have a beautiful documentation you can uh, simply click on plugin documentation and you'll be able to see all the plugin documentation from here okay 
they have a beautiful uh, documentation. You can follow the, follow the documentation. And if you watch my tutorial, then you don't have to watch uh, documentation. So I'm just simply closing this tab. Close this, close this. Don't forget to visit uh, Leo Coder. And then for go, uh, close this. All right. So I'll show you that how you can actually add these features. This is a really important feature. User, um, you, user will purchase more and more products. Suppose uh, you have cell phones in your uh, WooCommerce shop, and you also want to recommend ch uh, cell phone charges to your users. Okay, uh, in that case, you can use these features. Okay, and uh, if you use this feature then there is a high possibility of sales okay so simply uh, let's uh, click on add to cart from here you can simply click on add to cart from here okay and from here you can directly go to checkout but I'm not going to check out from here okay so simply I'm going to check out from uh, sorry I'm, uh, I'm going to uh, my add to cart page from here so simply click on view card and from view card let's visit our proceed to checkout page but before uh, going to proceed to checkout page simply you have to apply coupon code if you have okay you have to apply coupon code if you have any coupon co code for discount I mean your users can also apply coupon co uh, code for you for your product so simply uh, I don't have any coupon code that's why I'm, uh, I'm keeping it blank and after that simply click on proceed to checkout okay and you can see that this is how our checkout page looks like the user can easily fill up the form okay and uh, from here they can simply click on place order and we will get all the orders in our backend so let's go and see our backend I'm just simply uh, going back to my backend this is our backend WordPress backend I will show you that how we can get this backend how you can log in and log out inside this backend I have already logged in okay so simply from here click on OCommerce okay and uh, you can see that this is uh, from here our user can place the order if any user place any order from here the order will appears here okay you can see that this is how our OCommerce dashboard page looks like the order page is loading and from uh, orders you can see uh, see that it says when you receive a new order it will appear here okay uh, we don't have any order here that's why it's saying is this okay uh, once we will have an order in our uh, e-commerce shop then we'll be able to uh, handle that order okay we can reject that we can simply deliver that we can do a lot of things I will show you everything practically okay so simply you can see that uh, that's on a really nice e-commerce website that we are going to make today with WordPress so uh, before creating this beautiful looking website we need two basic things one is a domain name and a hosting so let's go and purchase our domain name and hosting and I hope that all of you know that what is a domain name and a hosting. If you don't know, then I'm telling for you that a domain name is the name of your WordPress website. Okay, I mean your uh, for your online shop. You can see that uh, here it says WordPress Freebies dot online. Uh, WordPress Freebies dot online is my domain name. I have already purchased this. Uh, okay my domain name and um, what is actually ho uh, hosting a uh, hosting is a space in uh, internet which is uh, already connected to the internet 24 7 and we're going to host our website data such as images text buttons etc etc uh, in that hosting okay so let's go and see that how we can purchase both of that uh, at the same time we are going to purchase um, domain name and hosting from a website called TMD hosting so for purchasing a domain name and hosting you have to simply open a new tab in your browser you can use Google Chrome Firefox any of uh, the browser that you love to use so simply open a new tab and from here I'm gonna type for Word WordPress word w o r d press 
free base word sorry guys wordpress tools dot live slash tmd tmd so i'll put this link in the description down below you don't have to worry about this okay so you can see that this is going to take you to this page and you can see that this is the uh, tmd hosting page they provide really great quality web hosting and domain name so from here you have to simply click on cloud hosting and then scroll down and from here you can uh, choose any of these three plans okay uh, I always recommend you to choose this plan I mean this business cloud plan okay because uh, this plan have unlimited bandwidth uh, free domain name etc etc okay and you can host unlimited website etc a lot of things you can also chat with their customer support from here you can see that when they have a beautiful uh, live chat options okay you can simply enter your name email department and uh, click on I agree and then start chat and after that uh, an agent from TND hosting will uh, help you okay all your um, with all of your problems okay they have a really great great customer support so simply uh, for purchasing a package from here simply click on get started button I'm going to show you that how you can purchase business cloud uh, package so simply click on get started okay and after that you will be redirected to a new page from this page you have to select a domain name okay I mean the name of your shop online shop I mean the You can see that here it says website name so you have to simply type here your website name suppose my domain name is uh, shoppers 24 bd buzzer okay and from here you can also select the extension uh, you can select shoppers 24 bd or shoppers 24 bd on net etc etc okay so i'm just simply selecting from um, dot com from you here you can select any of this dot uh, org dot us okay I'm selecting dot com and then what you have to do is simply click on search and this is going to check that if our uh, yeah it is available or not if it is not available then you are going to uh, see another message but in my case it's available you can see that so you have to uh, select a domain name which is really unique okay so don't forget to choose a unique domain name because all the common uh, common domain name is already in used by other, uh, other users okay so you can see uh, see that it says congratulations domain shoppers 24bdbuzz.com is available for registration with your hosting account so from here what do you have to do is simply scroll down and you have to fill up your account information you can see that uh, you can simply enter your email address okay and then password here okay password here and then uh, from under client information you can enter your name uh, last name street address city zip code your country I'm from Bangladesh that's why by default it's uh, uh, selected Bangladesh okay and from here you can enter your company name if you have a company it's optional okay and from here you have to enter your state or reason name you have to enter your phone number this phone number is really important so uh, don't forget to enter a valid phone number okay and scroll down more and under payment option you can ch uh, choose the payment method from here you can pay them uh, through credit card a uh, paypal or also uh, through bank transfer okay so simply uh, you can, if you want to pay through uh, credit card you can simply enter the credit card number then the uh, card expiration date etc etc okay uh, it's uh, like almost purchasing a product from Amazon or Shopify websites okay etc etc okay so simply after that scroll down more and under purchase information uh, select uh, the location of your data center by default it's selected uh, the default one nearest to you okay so i'm just simply keep, keeping this default and from here select the 12 months package okay 
and you can also choose the uh, 36 months package if you choose the 36 months package then you uh, know you can see that you will get a huge discount okay so uh, I suggest you to choose a 36 month package okay you can also choose the uh, 12 months package then uh, you have to re renew this package after 12 months but if you choose this 36 month package then you'll get a huge discount and you will have to renew this after three years okay so you don't have to worry about um, for next three years if you uh, choose 36 months so after that simply scroll down and from here scroll down and you can see that uh, our total due today is $260 okay now so this is your total total cost and after that from here uh, click on I agree to the TMD terms of services and privacy policy and also select this don't forget to check this uh, two box and from here simply click on uh, complete order okay and after uh, clicking here on complete order you will get an email from TMD hosting where you will get all the information about your uh, hosting details, your username, password, etc. etc. So, after that, simply open a new tab, and from your Gmail, you have to copy your uh, domain username, I mean, domain and hosting username and password. So, you have to simply open a new tab and then type here your domain. Suppose my domain name is right now wordpressfreebase.online and then uh, give a forward slash and then type here cpanel okay and this is going to uh, redirect us to this page okay and here you have to enter your username and password okay in my case this was my domain name slash cpanel in your case this will be your domain name slash cpanel so after that, uh, that simply go to your, your email that you have received uh, from TMD hosting and from here simply uh, choose a username so simply choose a username I have already copied my username from my email okay so and after that simply enter the password that you have received from TMD hosting and after that simply click on login okay and this is going to redirect you to a new page the page will look like this okay and from here search for soft clues okay type here soft clues this is actually called the uh, cpanel control panel of your whole website okay you can see that it's, uh, it says cpanel and from here select this soft clues apps installer okay and uh, we are going to install wordpress so simply click on here on wordpress okay and from here click on install now and then select the WordPress version from here. Uh, keep this default. You don't have to change uh, the WordPress version because by default uh, it selected the latest version of WordPress. Okay. Uh, and after that, from here, if you have multiple domain name, then you have to uh, select the domain name from this drop down. You can see that I have multiple domain name under one account. That's why uh, I'm getting these options. But if you don't have multiple domain name under one account, then you will not get this option. So simply. Uh, uh, select your domain name from here and if you have anything here like WP or anything then just delete this keep this blank okay uh, just make this blank you don't need this, uh, anything here okay so simply after that scroll down and from here you can give your side name and your site description uh, you can change this letter from uh, your WordPress dashboard so simply uh, I'm just keeping this default and it's called uh, more and from admin user simply type a uh, username for logging into the WordPress dashboard so simply I'm typing here a username so I'm typing here a really common username and let's enter a password you can generate password by clicking here okay uh, this key icon here so I'm just simply hide this and then let's enter password try to uh, give a strong password and enter a valid email address here by using this email you're going to receive all the emails that you're going to, um, that your user is going to uh, send you through the contact form okay so uh, enter a valid email address that you use regularly okay and after that scroll down more and more okay and from here just if you uh, see that you have checked this by default then simply uncheck this and just scroll down more and then click on install okay? and wait for a few seconds 
And after that, uh, it says, congratulations, the software was installed successfully. So what you actually have to do is simply open this uh, link in a new tab, okay? The first one is our website address, uh, which is your domain name. And the, uh, the second one is your administrative URL, okay? So simply open this in a new tab your domain name slash wp-admin okay this is your admin url by default you're logged in you can see that this is the wordpress dashboard and this is the front end of your website okay this is how it looks right now so i'm just simply reloading this okay and you can see that after re reloading the page a new uh, admin bar appears here okay so simply just go back to the wordpress dashboard and let's uh, change some default settings and delete some posts and pages and comments, okay? So first of all, uh, just click on post and delete all the default posts, okay? We don't need this uh, hello world post which comes by default with WordPress installation, okay? So simply select uh, this, I mean simply check this and from bulk action, click on move to trash and then click on apply okay and you can see that uh, you can also undo this trash but i'm not going to undo this trash i'm going to tr uh, trash now and i want to delete this permanently so simply check this from here and from bulk actions select delete permanently and then click on apply okay and simply so click on pages and from uh, pages delete these two pages okay so simply check this and from bulk action click on move to trash and after that click on apply and let's uh, go to our trash and then from here uh, check this and click on delete permanently from here and then click on apply all right and from here uh, from appearance you can see that we have three different theme already installed here but we are not going to install any of them so let's delete two of the default theme okay i'm just simply deleting this 2019 theme okay and 2020 also so simply click on delete just keep 2021 okay until we activate our uh, new theme called astra okay so simply click on plugins and let's delete our two default plugins so simply select this and from bulk action click on delete and then click on apply and then okay all right so simply click on users and let's see that how we can edit the default user and from users simply uh, click on profile if you want to edit your profile then you can simply click on profile and from here you can change the admin color scheme you can see that wordpress already have more than eight different uh, it's nine different color scheme for wordpress admin dashboard you can see that uh, it says midnight i'm just keeping midnight so and then scroll down you can change the nickname okay you can change also the display name you can also change the email address, you can change the website address, you can add some biographical information about your user, you can also change the Gravatar image from the Gravatar website, you can also set a new password. If you simply click on set new password and this is going to uh, generate a new password for you. So uh, I'm just not going to change the password, so simply I'm just click on, clicking on cancel, okay? So simply scroll down and then don't forget to click on update profile after making any changes okay so simply cl uh, click on update profile all right we have successfully updated the profile and after that click on settings and from settings you can easily change your site title you can see that uh, it says site title you can give your uh, my WooCommerce website suppose WooCommerce you can use anything you want WWOCOMM commerce website and from tagline simply add a tagline e-commerce e-c-o-m-m e-commerce by WooCommerce okay 
and simply scroll down and then click on save changes don't forget to click on save changes after making any changes here in this page okay and after that uh, you can simply click on permalink and let's go and change our permalink and then click on post name from here okay a post name permalink structure is re really really SEO friendly okay so simply click on save changes don't forget to click on save changes okay never forget this and then reload this everything will be look like almost same okay so let's go and see that how we can make our website uh, like this so first of all what we have to do is to install a new theme for installing a new theme you have to click on appearance and from here click on add new and from here search for Astra okay a S T R A Astra and then you can see that this theme is called Astra and from here simply click on install okay I'm just installing this Astra theme and then after installing it says to activate this theme so simply click on activate and let's delete our uh, 2021 theme okay we don't need any extra theme because this is going to in increase our loading time okay so simply click on theme details and then click on delete and okay you can see that right now we have only one active theme installed which is our current uh, theme called Astro okay so we're going to use this theme for our appearance of the whole website okay so simply click on get started and you can see that it's activating all right you can see that uh, it takes us to this page and from here select the page builder uh, with what you want to edit the whole website I'm just simply selecting Elementor from here okay select Elementor and you can see that here is a lots of demo available here some of them are uh, premium and some of them are free and we're going to use the free version in this tutorial okay so simply from here from uh, this drop down simply click on this and from here filter for free okay and again click on all and then click on e-commerce and you can see that this is showing us all this uh, free demos available uh, for e-commerce so simply import this so I'm just simply want to import this cosmetics store demo and if you want to um, import any other demo then you have to simply click on that specific demo okay so uh, I'm just simply clicking this specific demo cosmetics store and then simply click on this and after that click on import complete site and you can see that a new pop-up opens here and from here click on import and you can see that it's importing all the uh, footer blocks uh, or commerce uh, plugin etc etc okay so simply wait for a few seconds or a few minutes okay and here you can see that it says imported successfully so simply cl uh, click on visit site from here and here you can see that we have successfully made our e-commerce website with WooCommerce exactly like the demo uh, of this uh, tutorial okay uh, that I had shown you uh, at the beginning of the tutorial okay you can see that this is how it looks right now so from now let's see that how we can customize how we can add a new page add uh, a new post or a new product and how we can add a wish list uh, pay, page by using the plugin and how we can add a uh, add to cart pop-up uh, with the best free WordPress commerce plugin for 
uh, sales posting called Leo product recommendation okay so simply go back to your WordPress dashboard and from here I'm just simply click on this icon here okay and then from uh, here click and post first of all let's say that how we can actually uh, po uh, create a new post in our WordPress website so for creating a new post in our WordPress website simply cl uh, click on post okay and from here click on add new you can also click on add new from the left hand side okay and you can see that a new uh, WordPress Gutenberg editor will be open here and I'll, I will show you that how we can uh, use that Gutenberg editor for creating your new page oh, sorry not page post okay so you can see that here it says uh, to enter a new title for our post so let's enter a title here suppose uh, five sorry five best places for vacation you can add your own title okay and then let's go and uh, add some content here okay so simply for adding some content here simply uh, click here and then you can you have to click here add block and from here if you want to add a text you can simply click uh, in this block paragraph and you can uh, type something here some paragraph here this is a blog post about five best places for vacation okay and then let's copy and paste it again and again because I don't want to type anything more here okay and if you want to make anything bold or if you want to add any link you can simply do that um, for doing that simply select uh, the uh, text which you want to uh, uh, make bold or you want to make a link simply bold this and uh, after that you can also add a link so uh, for adding a link you can have to simply click on here uh, and after that simply you have to type the URL here suppose I want uh, it to go to Google clone slash slash Google dot com okay and then simply type uh, on here apply okay you can see that the link applied here and if you want to make anything italic I mean a little bit uh, italic uh, let's make this text italic simply uh, click this and you can see that the text became italic okay I suppose I want to add a subheading then simply uh, add a new block here click on this plus icon and from here you have to si or search for title uh, or heading you can search for heading and you have to click here on heading and from here you can select the heading type I just want to uh, make the heading type heading free and write the heading title here Bali in Indonesia let's uh, see the spelling search it for Google Indonesia okay you can add sub a title like this here you can also add a button here uh, if I want to add a button here just simply press enter and uh, click on add block and search for blocks button okay and then select this button and you can see that you can type here the button level text visit uh, s i t p visit now visit now okay all right so right now just uh, scroll down on no no we don't need to scroll down let's enter a link here so for adding a link here click this icon and let's enter enter the link leocoder.com okay leocoder.com all right and then if you really uh, want to add an uh, image here you can also do that suppose I want to add an image and, uh, under this subtitle so for doing that simply uh, press enter under this subtitle and click on this plus icon and from here search for block image okay search for image and then click on this image and you can add an image here 
okay from here simply suppose I want to add this image all right auto dynamics you can see that I have had multiple images here sorry sorry uh, I didn't have uploaded multiple images I have uploaded one images okay this is not a, a gallery block that's why uh, it uh, it will not allow you to upload multiple images at a time okay and let's go and see that how can I add a featured image so for adding a featured image click on this uh, post he from here and then click on featured image and then click on set featured image and then click on select files okay and let's add a featured image suppose I want to make this one as our featured image and then click on open okay and after that click on set featured image and let's uh, see that how can I add a tax so for adding a tax you have to simply click on tax and you have to search um, you have to add new tax suppose this is a post related to travel so let's add a tag called travel okay best place for travel tier a veal plus of uh, five places for traveler okay and that's it let's add a new category here so for adding a category here simply uh, click on this category and then click on add new and then let's type your category name travel okay and then press enter or you can also uh, tie on uh, no actually you can also click on add new category and you can also uh, add another category Indonesia Indonesia okay D Indo I N D O Indonesia uh, maybe my spelling is wrong let's see and check this in Google oh no my spelling is correct okay let's click on add category okay you can also add a parent uh, category here uh, suppose I'm adding here uh, five best plus it's a category okay uh, uh, it's a subcategory actually and we want to uh, make travel as a main category uh, as the parent category so for doing that simply click on parent category from here and then click on travel and then add new category and after that click on uh, publish if you want to publish it immediately okay so simply click on publish and we'll be able to see our new post here so for this uh, simply click on view post and you'll be able to view your new post okay and you can see that this is how our new post looks like okay this is our uh, featured image this is the images uh, that we have uh, added in our post body we have also have a button if I click this button this is this will take us to a new a page of Leo coder simply I'm clicking here and you'll be able to see uh, the new Leo coder website here okay they provide really great uh, WordPress plugin for uh, different uh, types of e-commerce website okay you can see that their website is really great okay so simply close this and let's go back to our WordPress dashboard and let's go and see that how we can actually create a new page so for uh, adding a new page you can see that I have already six or uh, not six four different pages so let's go and add another page for learning that how we can actually add a new page okay so simply click on pages from our dashboard and you will get a new options for uh, adding a new page okay so let's go and add a new page for our blog post okay so simply click on add new okay so first of all you have to enter a page title it's almost like adding a post okay so simply I'm just adding a uh, new page title and you can also uh, change the design of this page using uh, this block editor but I'm not going to show you this okay so simply click on publish from here okay and that's how easy it is to create a new page and let's go and view our page from here let's see 
this is our new blog page okay so let's go and uh, let's add this blog page into our menu okay so simply scroll down and from appearance click on menus and then from uh, here click on blog from most recent and then click on add to menu and then you can change the menu position so uh, let's drag it to the up okay and then click on save menu and then let's reload this and you can see that we have successfully add uh, this to, to our menu okay and let's uh, show our blog post here okay so how we can change that so for uh, change that simply hover over settings and from here click on reading okay and then from here select the post page blog okay and then click on save changes and let's reload the page and after that you'll be able to see your post here you can see that this is uh, our post okay that's how easy it is and let's go and see that how we can add a new product so for adding a new product simply click on products and from here click on add new And let's add your product name suppose I'm going to add a new t-shirt t-shirt okay and let's add some product description here suppose t shirt for men's and almonds okay let's copy and paste it again and again and let's go and add a new price well, not a new price actually the new price okay so simply suppose the price is thirty dollar and oh, let's add a sale price which is actually the discount price of your product 28 okay and then scroll down more and you, add, you can also add a product short description here okay suppose oh, let's copy this from here and scroll down and then simply cut this all of this okay and you can see that this is the short description and let's add a product category from here click on add new category and type here t-shirt okay add new category and you can see that we have successfully added the category let's add some tags t-shirt blue t-shirt and then scroll down and let's set a product image click on set product image and from here upload files and then select files okay and suppose uh, I don't have any t-shirt right now let's add this as for ex uh, for example just this is not actually a t-shirt image okay but I'm just showing you uh, for your learning okay for showing you so simply click on set product image and you can also add a pro product gallery simply click on this and you can choose as much as image you want if I click on free images from pixabay you'll be able to see you'll be able to search images from pixabay.com okay and you can search for t-shirt okay and then press enter and from here you can simply select t-shirt select this one okay and click on save and insert you can see that it's loading click on save and insert you can see that it, it, it's uh, downloading the product image and you can add more again click on free images from pixabay t-shirt okay press enter and let's enter this one suppose and then click on save and insert okay it's downloading 
and let's change our feature image from here click on this and go click on free images from Pixabay okay t-shirt and suppose this is our t-shirt feature image save and insert okay and you can see that this is how it looks right now and let's click on publish and then click on view product open link in a new tab you can see that this is how our products look like okay you can see the price here the regular price and also the sale price the product name the product short description uh, the product category tags gallery images you can also see the description here etc etc okay that's how easy it is and then let's go and see that how we can actually change our uh, WooCommerce settings options okay simply click, uh, click on WooCommerce and from here let's see that how we can actually change the settings of our WooCommerce shop then click on close icon okay and then click on settings all right and from here you can easily enter your shop address uh, your shop city your country your postal code uh, you can also choose your uh, selling location from here you can uh, also choose your shipping location etc etc okay you can enable the taxes currency you can change all these things from here okay so whatever things you need to ch change you you have to simply come uh, to this page from WooCommerce you have to click on settings and you have to make the change and you must have to click on save changes okay so I'm not changing anything I'm just uh, showing you this uh, for your store okay so simply uh, whatever you need to do simply come here and uh, change as per your needs and then click on save changes okay that's how easy it is to change the WooCommerce uh, settings okay and uh, let's go and see that how we can actually add our uh, uh, not actually add uh, how we can actually edit our page so simply cl uh, click on pages and let's go and add a new page for editing only okay because I want to show you that how you can actually design a page with uh, Elementor page builder which is the world most popular page builder for our WordPress so simply add a new page title here suppose a test page okay and then click and publish from here and for designing this click on edit with Elementor and after that you can see that uh, this is how it looks and let's go and add a new section so for adding a new section with Elementor click on this plus icon and then select the structure of your uh, section if you want a single column uh, you can add this if you want multiple uh, rows and column then you can add uh, add this and if you want a uh, three column then you can choose this but I want a single column okay and then let's go and add a heading here so suppose I want to add a heading here so for doing that simply click on this plus icon and from here click on uh, this heading and drag and drop it here okay and after that you can change your heading text from here suppose uh, test page test page okay you can also add a link here for this uh, heading and you can also center align it you can also uh, make it right align and you can also justify it okay you can do whatever you want and you can also change the HTML tag uh, I don't want to talk about this because this is for the web designers okay so let's go and see that how we can uh, style our uh, page title simply click on style from here and you can easily change the color from here okay and let's go and change the typography if you want to make the font family uh, suppose Arial simply select the font family I want to make it poppins so simply search here for poppins and it can also uh, change the size of this text okay simply you can see that uh, I have entered here 18 uh, but let's enter here 
28 or 48 let's make it 48 okay this is how it looks right now you can also change the uh, font width okay you can also change the text transformation you can see that all right let's make it capitalized or lowercase make it capitalized and from here you can also change the style you can make it normal you can make it italic okay and you can also make it oblique I just want to make it italic okay so keep this italic and you can also decorate this in the line okay you can actually do a lot of things okay so and you can also click on uh, advance from here and from here you can uh, also add animations suppose uh, uh, I click here on motion effects and from here you can simply select the animation type okay you can uh, see that this is how the animations uh, actually works this is really nice okay that's how easy it is well, you can uh, choose anything from he here and you can do a lot of things okay I'm not going to show you all of this thing because you'll be able to do this really easily if you uh, spend uh, 30 minutes okay so simply uh, after doing all the changes you have to simply click on update okay so let's see that how we can actually add an image so adding an image is also really easy uh, simply click on this nine dots and from here simply uh, drag and drop this from here okay and from here click on choose image you can see that and you can upload an image from your local machine I mean from your local laptop or desktop and from here you can select the image okay so simply click on insert media and you can see that this is how the image looks like you can also change the image size okay you can easily change the image size from here thumbnail okay you can make this image size I just I'm just making this large and from here you can also change the alignment okay well, let's make it a center align you can also add a uh, image caption here but I don't want to have, uh, add a caption here that's why I simply select none from here you can also link the image uh, I'm not going to do that and let's see that how we can actually uh, style the image simply click on style and from here you can change the width of your image you can also uh, change the maximum width of, uh, for your image you can also change the height okay you can see that and you can also uh, change the opacity of this image you can see that if I drag it to the right the opacity increase and if I drag it to the left the opacity, uh, the opacity decrease okay uh, let's make it well, something like this okay 89 is perfect you can also make the border radius okay you can see that this is how it looks and you can also add a box shadow you can change the box shadow color okay let's change the box shadow color from here and then go to advanced you can add animation or you can also add emergence you can see that this is how easy it is to add emergence but I don't want to uh, add emergence okay uh, simply click on motion effects and from here let's choose the animation type fade in okay that's how it looks right now so that's how easy it is to uh, actually uh, add elements to your uh, page and you can uh, also uh, make this single column into uh, two columns so for doing that simply click on this uh, on this icon okay and from here uh, click the right si uh, uh, side of your mouse and from here click on add new okay and from here you can see that we have successfully created a new column and then just drag and drop it here all right you can see that this is how it looks and then choose this again and you can uh, make the center line etc etc you can do a lot of things you can also add a spacer here so for adding a spacer simply click this nine dots and from here choose the spacer and you can see that that's so you can actually uh, add the spacer okay this is actually really easy guys just simply the uh, you can see that this is how easy it is and you can also uh, import pre-made layouts from here simply click on started templates and from here you can uh, import any template from here actually which is free, uh, free. Yeah. and you can also add a blocks from here simply click on blocks and you can uh, filter by category okay 
suppose I want to add this one or uh, this one this blocks this single quote blocks so for doing that simply click on single quote okay and from here simply click on uh, import block okay all right and you can see that this is actually importing and you can see that uh, this you know, block has been successfully uh, imported here and after making all the changes simply you have to click on update okay all right guys so we have successfully created a new page actually we have created and designed also okay with Elementor if I click on preview changes this is going to uh, preview the page here you can see that this is how our animation works you can look at this it, this is really really great okay so simply let's uh, exit to dashboard from here okay and right now let's see that how we can add the Leo product recommendation plugins okay so simply from here click on plugins and then click on add new from here and search for plugins called Leo product recommendation Leo Pro or Puro DUCT product okay and wait for a few seconds and from here install this click on install now and let's activate this okay all right and then from here click on settings this is going to take us to the Leo product recommendation settings And from here you can change the settings okay they also have a pro version you can purchase their pro version uh, their pro version is really really nice uh, okay so, but uh, before change any settings let's uh, see that how we can uh, add this um, plugin features to our specific products okay so for uh, adding that simply uh, go to our product settings okay and choose a specific product So uh, let's add some recommendation products for our t-shirt. So simply click on t-shirt from here. Actually, this is the product we want to uh, add some recommendation products also, okay? So simply scroll down. And from here, you can simply uh, add related product, okay? Suppose this uh, wrinkle cream is r related to this uh, t-shirt okay so simply uh, drag this wrinkle cream and add this to here okay so just click this you don't uh, have to drag and then simply add this beauty face cream also and let's click on update and let's click on view product okay and if I click on add to cart from here and you'll be able to see the recommended product from here and this is how our recommended products look like okay this is how easy it is to uh, use the Leo product recommendation plugin and this plugin can help you to increase your uh, sales of your WordPress e-commerce store up to 400%. Okay, so don't forget to use this uh, plugin with your e-commerce website, and uh, you can also upgrade this plugin to the pro version. Okay, so simply uh, right now, let's see that how we can actually use the wish list plugin. So simply click on plugins uh, to add new. Click on live. Okay. From plugins, click on Add New and search for Wish List W I S H uh, W I S H Wish List. Okay, actually we're going to use uh, T I Wish List plugin. Okay, simply install this. Click on uh, Install and then click on Activate and let's set up our uh, T I Wish List plugin. Click on let's go from here 
and then let's create the page automatically let's make the wishlist page name on WooCommerce wishlist okay and then click on uh, continue and from here click on continue you don't need to make any changes from here and click on continue again scroll down click on continue and then click on ret return to the dashboard uh, let's go to our product single page open any product you want you can see that I have this product here and let's reload this page again and you can see that here is our wishlist page okay so that's how easy it is to add the wishlist page okay so let's visit our homepage again and let's see that how we can actually edit this page uh, ed editing a page an existing page is really easy I have already shown you that how you can actually uh, add and design a page with Elementor so let's see that how we can edit our page suppose I want to uh, change something from uh, our home page so for doing that simply click on uh, edit with uh, Elementor from our home page and this is going to load the Elementor editor and from here you can see that uh, this is how uh, it shows so simply uh, I want to edit this text from here click on this text okay uh, I want to uh, edit this heading and you can see that at the left hand side we have all the settings related to this heading so simply I want to add here best beauty pro uh, pronounced okay and if you want to change anything from this text here simply uh, click on this and from here simply copy and paste it here okay if you want to make anything bold from here you can make that bold you can see that uh, it the uh, this is actually changed okay and it can do a lot of things and from uh, here if you want to change the button text simply click on this button okay so whatever you want to change simply click on this okay and from here well add it, uh, you can add or change the button level text so simply remove this view product and you can also change the button link suppose I want to add my website address slash shop okay and you can also change the alignment of your button you can do a lot of things you can change the button size medium large etc etc and from here you can also add a new uh, icon suppose shop shopping cart okay shopping cart insert and you can see that this is how it looks you can change the icon position all right and from here you can also change the icon spacing you can do a lot of things okay and from here click on update don't forget to uh, uh, click on update after making any change okay so simply from here click view uh, not actually view preview changes okay and after that you'll be able to see your uh, changes that you have made okay so that's how easy it is to edit the page so that's all for today see you in the next video in uh, other tutorial and don't forget to subscribe our channel for more useful tutorial like this and we also have more detailed uh, tutorial about WordPress e-commerce website which is really nice so uh, don't forget to uh, visit our channel and I will also put a link in the video description down below so don't forget to watch that video for learning how to make a complete e-commerce website okay so see you in the next video goodbye